Okay, it is beer o'clock again on The Real Ale Guy. Today's beer is a beer from the McMullen Brewery in Hertfordshire, England. And it is their Strong Heart Bitter. 7% ABV. And this one, or was cho chosen by camera, the campaign for Real Ale, for the, for the first Best Festival Ale Award. Describing it as liquid Christmas pudding. So, looking forward to getting into this one. Now, I've had this probably for about 10 months. I've aged it. It's still in date by three months. The reason I've done that is because it's 7% ABV. It's described as a bitter. And sometimes just by looking at a beer like this, you think... I'm going to age this, I want to age this a little bit. I'm going to see the best out of this beer probably in about 10 months time. So I've decided to do that. It's a two finger head, it's off white, it's creamy, there's different size bubbles going on in the head. The beer itself is nicely carbonated. And it's a definitely a bottle condition beer. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's, there's bits and pieces floating around in the glass. If I tip it there, can't quite see. I'll show you in a bit. Um, yeah, there's, it's off. It, it's, it's very dark to look at, but there is a hint of redness there. Look, right at the bottom of the camera, you can just see that hint of red flows through the glass but the camera struggles to pick it up. Let's get a nose on the beer then. Oh and this smells, this smell just takes me right back to, believe it or not, a Shepherd Neen beer. This, this reminds me of the Generation Ale from Shepherd Neen. That was their really big, I think it was um, I think that was either seven or nine percent. That was it was a really big beer, but this oh, it's, it's um, it's like a it's like um a very sweet perfume. Oh, it's, it uh, also I tried my very first um, American cream ale three days ago, and that was. Amazing, but this has got the same type of quality to it in the nose, anyway. It's very toffee ish, sweet toffee, but not it's not butterscotch. I'd like, I don't want to confuse it at all. It's not butterscotch, it's a very, very nice, very appetizing sweet toffee. I'm gonna get in. Cheers, everyone. Oh. oh, that is superb, absolutely superb. I'm getting roasted malts together with raisin. I'm getting a kind of a rum taste in there. There's, there's a, for 7%, there's, it is a definite, definite, alcohol taste in the beer but not a nasty alcohol taste it's more like um it's more like a rum it's got like a rum taste to it it's very smooth the beers are sliding, it just slides down your neck. It leaves you with a coating on, on, on your palate with, with, which just helps to release all the flavours. It's quite a complicated beer. I'm going to be putting quite a few flavours out of this one. Let's make a start. It's like um, it's almost like um, a rum liqueur. 
with hints of chocolate, coffee, this raisin, it's, it's ever so slightly vinous. It's sweet, it is a sweet beer. As I said, there's that alcohol taste, but it all kind of, somehow all of these flavours come together and, and they fit like a glove, they really do. Oh, there's dark berry, there's, there's hints of cherry. It's really complex stuff. This and it's a it's a great sign when you get a beer that's seven percent ABV described as a, a strong ale, a, a bitter, strong bitter, is that when you get the complexity there with all these different flavours where you're absolutely racking your mind to, to, to pull more flavours out of the beer. That's when you know you know this is a really good quality beer. It reminds me of a barley wine too. I'm just looking behind the sign they said they've used Whole Hop, the Whole Hop Brewery. Um, yeah, uh, East Anglian Barley and Whole Leaf English Hops from Hereth, Hertfordshire, independent family brewer. It's, it just, it's just got such a quality feel about it. It's quite difficult. What I'm going to do is say, it's a very, very good beer. What you need to do, if you're, if you're an experienced drinker, if you know you can pull these different flavors, Go and buy a bottle of this, or if you've tried it and you can remember off the top of your head, or if you write notes, put it in the comments box. Tell me what you've found with the beer. I just think it's absolutely wonderful, but it's mysterious. It's a mysterious beer. Like cocoa bean as well. It's like a, and the thing. I've overlooked the most, I think, which was in the very first flavour, and it's just come back to me, is how much of a really nice bitter ending it is to this beer. It is really bitter on the back end. The more I drink this beer, the more I'm sipping away on it, the more I'm talking to you guys, the more I'm, I'm impressed with this beer, I really am. I'm going to give this a rating, but before I do, I just want to give, if it's possible, I just want to see if I can get hold of the brewery's website, it's underneath all of this paper. I imagine um, if you Google McMullen Brewery, McMullen and Sons, Hertfordshire, I'm sure you will um, find this brewery, but just have one more look at the bottle. It really is a super, super beer. Um, for that reason, for all the tasting notes I've given you, um, for the quality, for the mouthfeel, for the carbonation, for the great taste, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. This gets a 9 out of 10 from the Real Ale Guide. A really, really, really solid beer. Very, very nice. Um, I love a surprise. Um, I've, I've, I've aged it for 10 months. Perhaps I've, in the aging process, perhaps I've pulled more of these flavours. Perhaps I've given it more of a rounded um, appeal, taste. What I should do now is, is probably look to get a fresh bottle in and see the difference. Um, but anyway, if you want to drink it fresh, if you want to age it, it just shows you can do either. Um, thanks for watching The Real Ale Guide. Put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe if you like and cheers.